Hello, freshmen. This is Mrs. Myers, and today you're going to be doing an ACT science passage. This is the passage that you're going to be doing. It is from the June 2023 ACT, so pretty recent. Um, if you look at the passage, this is a pure data passage. What that means is there are no experiments, no competing scientists. They just give you some information, some data. Um, so the first thing I would do, I would not read this unless you're a super fast reader, I would just maybe annotate the two pieces of data that they give you. So you can see table one, and table one talks about yield. Yield means like how much is grown for three different plants. And then you see figure one, and figure one talks about um, rainfall, okay? So we've got how much these three plants grow, and we've got rainfall. And it looks like we've got 14 seasons here and 14 seasons here. Okay, um, you may not want to do the questions in order. You might want to do like all the table one questions and then all the table two questions. So you can see number eight has to do with table one. They tell you table one. Um, and you can see seven, 10, 11, and 12 have to do with figure one. Um, I know these guys are about figure one because they talk about rainfall. And here I know they're about figure one because they say figure one. All right, number nine might be the one that you save for last because this one asks about both information pieces. You'll have to use both. Um, this question may be the most difficult and take the longest, and it'd be helpful to do it after you've looked at um, each of these things separately, okay? All right, let's get started. Try question seven. All right, question seven. We knew that it was looking at figure one because they ask about rainfall and figure one is all about rainfall, okay? They ask for which growth season was the amount of rainfall received closest to the average, okay? Um, so we're gonna assume average is in the middle, okay? Um, and then if it was above average, it was up, and if it was below average, it was down. So which one was closest to average? If you look at season six, it's just slightly, slightly off from average. So season six was closest to average. For number seven, your answer should be B. All right, try question 10. Question 10 says the rainfall deviation in centimeters for season one was closest to which of the following. Deviation means like the difference, okay? Um, so you can see the deviation is if it goes up or down from the average. All right, they asked about season one. So we're going to be looking at this bar here. Okay, and they ask, what was the deviation in centimeters? Now, this could be an easy question if you're just giving this value, but if we look on this axis, this data is provided in millimeters. Millimeters are those tiny little marks, um, like each little tiny line on a yardstick or a meter stick, um, and centimeters are a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have, it looks like in millimeters, about 225. If we were to convert that into centimeters, um, centimeters is a larger unit, so when you go to a larger unit, your number gets smaller. We'll have to move our decibel place one direction because there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So our answer for 10 is H. Okay. Try question 11. Question 11, you know it's going to be working with figure one because they say figure one. And they say, does figure one show variation in an abiotic or a biotic factor? Those are words that you've definitely heard in your science classes, probably especially in your biology class. Abiotic means not living because a means not. And biotic means living because bio means life. So is this graph something that's living or not living? It's all about rainfall. Is rain alive or not alive? Rain is not alive. So your answer for 11 should be B. Um, the amount of rainfall is non-living. All right, question 12, try this one. Question 12 says, suppose a wet season is a season where you have at least 900 millimeters. All right, um, and then it asks about figure one. So we know we're looking at figure one. Okay, how many of these seasons were wet seasons? Okay, so figure one is about the difference from the average. We need to know what the average is. The passage tells us the average rainfall is 600, okay? So to get to 900, you need 600 plus 300. So any of these that are at least plus above 300, okay? And here's a 300 line. I only see one bar, season four, that goes above 300 in addition to the average of 600. 
to get 900. So your answer for 12 is G, one. Only one season got at least 900. All right, try question eight. All right, question eight's a little bit long. It talks about seasons nine and 11. So we've got season nine here and season 11 here. Okay, um, and they say they had the same amount of rain, but season nine had more dry spells. Okay, um, based on table one, here we are at table one. Okay, did the more dry spells in season nine have a positive or negative effect on the yield of sorghum? Okay, so we're looking at sorghum and we're comparing season nine, which was 926, and season 11, which was 1403. Okay, and they say there were more dry spells in nine. Okay, was that good or bad for the sorghum? 926 is lower than 1403. So that means that less sorghum grew when there were more dry spells. So it was negative for the sorghum. So our answer for eight should be J. It was negative. The yield for season 11 was greater. And there were fewer dry spells. We grew more sorghum. All right, last question. Try number nine. Number nine, we have to look at figure one and table one. So you're gonna have to be putting both of these pieces together. Okay, they say for the growth season with the least amount of rain, okay, which one had the least rain? It's gonna be the lowest on the scale. So that would be season two, okay, season two. Which of Rapoco or Millet had the larger yield and what was that yield? So we're comparing these two numbers here. Um, for season two, which one was higher? Looks like Rapoco was higher. 1,033 is higher than 102. And the answer should be A. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.